Are you tired of sawdust everywhere? Today's video is a DIY project where I build a cyclone dust collector for my shop, which is my garage. Let's get into it. After years of having no dust collector, whenever I did a woodworking project, I decided it was time to change that because I was tired of cleaning up the sawdust mess and I wanted to help protect my lungs. I searched around for an inexpensive solution and I came across a video by Chris No Trap on how to make a simple cyclone dust collector. I loved the idea, but I wanted to use a garbage can I already had on hand. So this tutorial is inspired by Chris's tutorial, which I will link to in the video description below. You will need three one and a half inch pipe cut to one and three eighths inch, one one and a half inch 90 degree elbow, three one and a half inch straight connectors, one 45 degree elbow, two rubber cap pipes, foam sealant tape, this is optional, a plastic garbage can with lid and additional items. There's a scrap board and three flat metal screws. I will link to these in the description below. To start, take the one inch pipe connector and trace the inside edge of the connector onto the garbage can lid in two places along the outside edge and in the center of the lid. Use a drill to drill a one half inch hole as your starter hole inside the trace circles. After, use tin snips to cut out the circles. Test the fit of the one half inch pipe and adjust if needed. For the second hole, I decided to trace the one and a half inch pipe and then cut the hole and this required no adjusting after cutting. Then I took the one inch pipe and pushed it into one pipe connector. Pushed the other one half inch pipe into another connector as well and pushed those pipes into the center and outside holes of the lid. From the inside of the lid, I pushed the last pipe connector into the center pipe. Then for the outside edge, I took the 45 degree elbow and 90 degree elbow and held them up to each other. You will notice that the sides of these have little marks on the sides. What you do, want to do is move the marks a quarter of an inch away from each other and that's where these fittings will be pushed together. This angle will help direct the sawdust to downwards into the garbage can. Attach these two together with the cut pipe. Then place the 90 degree fitting onto the pipe lid. You will later rotate the fitting until it hits the side of the garbage can. This will allow the sawdust to cycle around the garbage can. This next step is optional and it does make it difficult to put on the lid, but it will give you a good seal on your lid. To do this, wipe the lid to remove any dust and then add the window seal tape along the outside edge of the lid. It's time to cut the hole in the rubber cap to fit the hoses. To cut the hole, take the hose and trace the size of the hose onto the rubber cap. Then drill a starter hole into the cap. Take the tin snips and cut out the circle from the cap. Thank you. 
test the fit and adjust if needed. Place the rubber cap over the pipe connector and use the screwdriver to tighten the metal hose clamps. After testing the collector, I realized I needed to place a board to keep the pipe fitting from moving. So I used two scrap boards. One was four and a half inches by eight and a half inches, and the other was one and a half inch by four inches. I attached the smaller board to the larger board by pre-drilling two holes and then securing them in place with two one and a quarter inch screws. Next, I place the lid on the garbage can and position the pipe fitting against the side of the garbage. Then I turned over the lid, measured the distance from the lid edge to the fitting, and then positioned the boards to keep the pipe fitting in one location, being careful not to move the fitting. I then clamped the board in place and I checked that the fitting was still in the same location from the edge and adjusted it if I needed to. I ended up adjusting one clamp to hold the board to the lid. Then I flipped the lid over and secured the board to the lid with four three and a quarter inch metal to wood screws. Now the question you've been waiting for, does the dust collector work? So after testing it for months, I am finally sharing this tutorial and there were some issues. So the little, I put the windowsill tape around the inside of the garbage can and that made it very difficult to open and close the garbage can and also it made it so that it actually made it work even better because it was a very tight seal but the problem was was that the garbage can was contracting together and so i tested it out by removing that and that did help but after some more research, I did find another video on how to solve this solution, and I'm gonna to link to it in the video below. I will have a corresponding video one day soon once I find time to fix it on how it does work after fixing this problem, but I wanted to kind of just show what I have. This is an inexpensive way to do dust collection. Is it perfect? No, it is not. It probably doesn't collect all the dust, but it does help. So if you're looking for a way to help collect some dust, this is a good solution, but it's not the end all solution. I just wanted to put that out there. So I hope this project helped you and I'll see you next time.